How's it going guys? Thank you guys so much for tuning into my channel. What we got to talk about today is your first week in real estate. Now, you've just got your license, you've just signed on with a real estate broker, and now you are a certified real estate agent. What do you do with that? What you do is you be smart. Think with your mind. You think strategically. So I want to show you how to do that. Now, the first thing is creating opportunities. And what I mean by that, now you may not have the upfront capital to do this right away, but ads and open houses. Now, when I say open houses, now we are in a pandemic, so it's hard to, to do that right now. But what I mean by an open house, you can do a live video. So let's say an agent and your brokers, they have a new listing. And what you do is you reach out to that agent. You say, hey, can I please shoot a video of your home? Is it vacant? I would love to go there, shoot a quick video. You shoot that video, but then you put that out to your social media and let them know, hey, this is new to the market. Anyone's looking to buy, give a detailed description of that home. And hopefully you can generate some form of traffic. And now when I'm speaking with ads, what you can do with ads now, it doesn't cost that much. Now, I will highly recommend before you spend any money on ads, make sure you do your research so you're gaining some type you're not just spending money out, out of nowhere that's how you take advantage of ads just research how to do it simple so the next thing make sure you are practicing your scripts now if you have experience if you've been in property management or if you've done things that kind of pertain to this business still do your scripts still practice. For me, I did over the phone customer service, which made it easy to communicate with people. But now I'm in front of these people. So I really have to listen to what they say to, to respond correctly. So make sure you guys are studying your scripts. So you know, when they say something, you know how to respond to that, or you know how to handle this type of buyer. The next thing you gotta do is get around successful agents. Now I'm not saying someone that just got a couple deals. You wanna get around somebody that's in the business. That's all they do. Find and mimic what those successful agents do and that's how you take advantage of your first week in real estate as a new agent. These are the things that you wanna do to get yourself off to a, a, a great start. Now, what I really want to talk to you guys about is very important because the first thing they're going to tell you when you get your license or, you know, after you sign on with the brokerage is reach out to everyone that you know, which I strongly, highly recommend. Yes, that's what you want to do. Now, I'm a different kind of person. I'm from a different background, so I can't say, you know, the type of relationship I have with people is the same that you may have. Uh, with you, with the people around you. So what I what I would recommend when it comes to your sphere of influence, right? Cuz I'm going to tell you a little bit what I what I've experienced. Your sphere of influence is your friends and family on your social media and your contacts. And yes, you want to let them know. Every single person that you've ever met in your life, you want to let them know, "Hey, I am a real estate agent." That is me. That's what I'm doing. This is my career. I am now a certified real estate agent and this is the brokers that I'm with. Now, the next thing you do after you do that, get away. You get away from them because you're just because they know you don't mean that they trust you enough to use you in real estate. I've had my own auntie tell me, oh my God, I, 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 I send all of your, all of your content to your uncle. I love what you're doing. Oh, it's so amazing. I, I love your growth. It's so cool. I, I, every time you post a video, I share it with your uncle and she still used someone else to list her, her father's property. You got to get away from everyone that knows you and get around from people that don't know you because my first deal was a family member and that was the hardest client that I ever had to deal with. My first deal was, was a family member. My second deal was a lovely couple that went smoothly, still, still in communication today. Um, my next deal was with someone else that I didn't know and it was smooth. So I'm not saying don't work with your family, don't work with your friends, but just know you don't want that consistent business. Don't get caught up in that. Don't get caught up in trying to make sure all your, all your friends and family are going to use you because they're not, but someone else's friends and family will use you. So keep tapping in and keep figuring out ways to get yourself 
outside of that sphere of influence. Yes, that's good because they could, your sphere of influence can recommend to you other people, but it just doesn't mean that they will. It just doesn't mean that they will. I've seen my own cousins, mind you, they follow all of my things. They like all of my content, but they still will share another real estate agent. So you got to make sure that you are around as many people that don't know you, but you still tell the people that know you, Hey, I'm a real estate agent. But like I said, don't get caught up on them using you because they're not there. The fucked up part about people that know you is that they are always going to be afraid that you're going to get bigger than them, that you're going to go to the next level, you know, uh, above them. So if they don't use you, it's okay. Don't get caught up on that. And the last thing we really have to take advantage of social media in your first week, pretty up all of your social media. I'm mad that I, I took so long. Granted, I got my license literally maybe a week or two right before the pandemic. So you guys have to really make sure you take advantage of social media. And, and I get it. If you, you know, you, you feel like you don't have enough time, but the best thing about social media, you have to think of it this way. Once you said it, you can forget it. Once your social media looks nice and it's good and know how you, how you want it, all you have to do is change your profile pic every now and then if you, if you want, but make it pretty. So it's not something you always have to work on on top. If you know, especially when you start to get busy, you want to make sure you have everything set. You have a set system and that's how you dominate your first week in real estate. Make sure you guys check out my video on how to choose your broker. If you're not that, if you're not there and if you're not there, after getting your license, I know it's not, you know, a quickest decision. You're going to get so many people that's going to start pulling at you, telling you all these things and you don't know what's right, but go with your gut. Like I said, check out this video on how to choose your broker because you better get your money. We are in a pandemic. You should be collecting as much revenue as you can and not giving it to these brokers. There's so many small brokerages out there that can give you a percentage that you can continuously reinvest in yourself. So, Check out that video. Make sure you guys check that out. Make sure you guys subscribe. And if you like this video, please, let's keep it going. Have a great day and you stay safe.